chapter 6, lesson 2 is multiplication with regrouping in the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So again, best before we start with the exercise to practice either with the flashcards or with a finger counting. They need to know all 10 tables. Okay, so our exercises will come from page 124 and 128. So in page 124, it says multiply. Okay, so here we need to rewrite the problem so that the bigger number is on top and the smaller number is on the bottom. So the procedure will be we multiply 6 by 4. So remember, the kids can either count by 6 or by 4, whichever is easier for them. So if we multiply 6 by 4, that would be 24. So they could also use flashcards, which means it doesn't make a difference which way they count because they would have memorized it. So then we take 6 times 7, which is 42, plus a 2 makes it 44. So when we say regrouping, that means we carry and add after we multiply. So in the next problem, it will be the bigger number, 224 times 4. So if we multiply 4 times 4, that will be 16 we carry or we regroup. So then 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Which means if we multiply 4 by 2 again, that will be 8, giving us 896. The next set of problems that we will be doing have bigger numbers. So this will be on page 124, problem number 6. So when we multiply, we take 8 times 9. So again, if they do finger counting, they can count either by 8 or by 9. Or if they've been doing flashcards, then that means it should be 72. So we put a 2 and we carry the 7. Okay, now we're going to multiply the 8 times the 3. So when we multiply the 8 times the 3, that would be at 24. But we need to add the 7. So I'm going to put that over here. So that would be 24 plus 7. Okay, when I do, we're going to be consistent. We start with a 7. We add the 4. We need 3 to get to 10. We have an extra 1 that makes it 11. So that makes it 31. So again, if it's too hard for the kids. We need to allow them to either put it on the side, put it above, wherever they have space. They need to be able to write down what needs to be regrouped. Okay, and finally, if we take 8 times 4, that would be 32 plus 3, that would be 35. Our last problem will be 9 times 6, which is 54. So that means this will be a 4 and that will be a 5. If we multiply 9 times 7, that will be 63. But we need to add. So again, if it's too hard for the kids, we put it up here. 63 plus 5. Okay, clearly they should see that that's 68. So there's an 8 and a 6. And finally, 9 times 5. 5 is 45, we add a 6. So I'm going to put it down here, 45 plus 6. So if we're consistent, we need a 4 to make it to 10. We have an extra 1, makes it 11. So that would be 51. So our final answer will be 5,184. So again, parents, once we start multiplying larger numbers, it also means more stress. So the kids need a lot of practice on this. They cannot learn this without doing many, many problems. 
So please be patient with your kids and enjoy. That concludes Lesson 2 of Chapter 6, which also concludes Chapter 6 and our module. So I'll see you in the next module.